personal stories and a friendly demeanor plays big parts, but how do you make that real connection with so many people in the room? This morning, distinguished Toastmaster Carson looks at the reasons we all feel so differently when it comes to communication. Please welcome distinguished Toastmaster Carson Schaefer with his speech, Why Don't They Think Like Me? Thank you for that incredible introduction. Every one of you has a filter in your head. We all see the same world, but as soon as it gets past your eyes and your ears, it goes into this filter that's comprised of every experience you've ever had in your life, and it colors what you think. I, if I ask you, what, what do you guys see right now? You'd say, well, I see a guy standing up here trying not to look like an idiot, and I see the head table and the empty room behind me. But if you ask me what I see, I see a whole bunch of people all staring at me while I'm trying not to be an idiot. <laughs> I see the traffic going by outside. So even in the same room together, what we see is completely different. Toastmasters and guests, I want to talk to you about DISC communication styles, D-I-S-C. It's four ways people like to communicate. If you're a D, you're domineering, you're dominant, you're driving, you're a doer, you make things happen. Okay, you find D's as CEOs, generals, drill instructors. Okay, Gordon Ramsay, Simon Cowell, Carmelo Bellardo III are all D's. We're going this way and we're going now. Okay, their motto is do it now. Okay. Then you have the eyes. If you're an I, I'm an I. You know, you're enthusiastic, you're gregarious, you're persuasive, you don't ever shut up. You find eyes in sales and public relations. Real eyes are Dave Grohl and Jack Black and Tim Linger. This is an I. His motto is do it the fun way. Okay. It's my motto. That's I's. Then you have the S's. I even slow down and calm down when I talk about S's. Stable, steady, the team players. They're in HR, medical, teachers. Gandhi, Luke Skywalker, Jordan Kamaker. <laughs> Please don't tell Jordan I said Gandhi and his name in the same sentence. My wife, the nurse. They're all S's. Their motto is, do it together. And then we have the C's. Computational, the fact-finding, precise, accurate. The engineers, the accountants, IT people. Bill Gates, Stephen Hawking, Rebecca Eggleton. Okay. Their motto is, do it right. You're not going to like this, but I have to tell you that D's are right more than anybody else. It's not because they're smart. I mean, we all know Carmelo, he ain't that bright. Right? <laughs> the camera's not on, right? But they can't stand to be wrong. If we're all going this way and I go, hey man, we're going the wrong way, they go, shut up. Three people go, we're going the wrong way. They go, all of you, shut up. And then half the people say, we're going the wrong way. And they will stop, look at the whole group and go, are we going the wrong way? Uh-huh. What way should we go? You should go that way. Okay, forward march. And off we go. They pivot just like this. So these are right more than anybody else. But it's because they can't stand to be wrong. I want everyone to cross their fingers like this. Okay. This is comfortable. This is your style. Now I want you to move them over and cross them the other way. Come on, you gotta try to, you know. This is what it's like for someone else who's talking to you, who's not like you. If you're an S and you're calm and a team player and you have a D going, I don't give a darn, I want it done right now. If you don't like them, it makes you feel like this, you're not comfortable. 
You're speaking a different language. If you use the ready, aim, fire analogy, D's will say, ready, fire, aim, fire, aim, fire. They correct after each shot, but they get the first shot off. Ready, fire. They don't even aim. They just fire. Okay. Eyes. I'll say, ready, aim. Hey, look, a squirrel! Ooh, ooh, and it's a gray one! All right, that's an eye. S's are ready, ready. Is everybody ready? Okay, Mary, we'll, Mary went to the bathroom. We'll wait. Okay, Mary's back. Is everybody ready? That's an S. And the engineers, the C's, ready, aim, 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 aim. <laughs> the problem is nobody says fire except the D. Who's the guy who's the demanding driver doer? Nobody likes him because he makes you do stuff. I'm the I. I'm telling you, I don't like the D. He makes me work. If you place them in a corner, a D will fight their way out. Verbally, and if you keep pushing them, you might be in a real fist fight. And I, Linder, myself, we'll talk our way out. We'll make jokes. We'll figure out some way to get out of this. A C will have a seven-point plan on exactly how they're going to get out of this. And the S's, because they're the glue, S's will blow up the world if you put them in a corner. Can you imagine putting Jordan truly in a corner where he had no other way out and he brought everything to bear on you? Jordan would blow up the world. My wife would blow up the world. Don't corner an S's an S. You will rue the day. Okay. It's so like you can write an introduction that makes everybody happy. Carson's speech is direct and to the point. It's going to be fun and enjoyable. So the D's go good. The I's go yay. It's going to be involve everyone. The S's are happy. And it's going to be defined and specific. And the C's go good. Everybody heard what they're looking for personally. Is everybody on board if you do that? There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Crematory ain't open yet. So D-I-S-C. D, the CEO, Carmelo. I, sales, Linger. S, HR, Jordan. And C, engineering and accountant, Rebecca Eggleton. If you speak to us all, you'll make your points well with everyone. Mr. Toastmaster. Hey.